Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bounce of the Peace Sports Podcast with your host with the most about with the plaid, Yawa King ECG and Manila. It's your boy Da Vinci, star of the Eagle, feed the soul. So today, as you can see, me and the Vinci are wearing red. Now, you know, my background is red and black, but my guy, the GOAT, Brady, he's back. 40 days, 40 days and, and 39 nights. <laughs> <laughs> and my boy said he's back. Now, remember earlier, like, we'll say like maybe a month ago, I said, yo, mm-hmm. Brady's going to come back, and I think he's going somewhere. You remember that place I was talking about? You de- you definitely said that. You definitely did. Absolutely. Yeah, I said he's going to come back and go to the 49ers. Now, it hasn't happened yet, mm-hmm. but I believe that it's in the works. I know that they got a couple guys they signed back, and – you know, it looks like he's he's wanting to play with the Bucks, but I'm giving it a 70% chance. And, hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, people. But this is just me, you know, trying to be ahead of the curve. The only way you get ahead of the curve is taking risks. I believe he's going to end up with the 49ers. He wants to finish his last and final year in his hometown, possibly try to win a championship. What do you say to that, sir? Come on, bro. You know I'm dying. I'm dying for that. Come on, you're talking to a 49ers fan here. Um, listen, with the peace we have, <clears throat> I think it would be the absolutely perfect fit for him. Right? Uh, I think if if he comes there and the team stay healthy and he stays healthy, I think it's going to be a problem for the rest of, of people in the league. I, I I truly do. I truly do. I truly think that that's the place for him to come. Yeah, I mean, you know, you replaced Jimmy Garoppolo with Brady last year, and I I don't know I don't know if the Rams beat him. Hold on, but look look what they accomplished with Jimmy Garoppolo. But could you just imagine Brady there? Ridiculous, right? right? Listen, and the thing you're getting with Brady, you're getting so much more with Brady. You're getting experience. You're getting them how for him to make guys better, right? Yeah, you get an assistant that he's putting in place. Like, there's so much you're getting him with Brady here. Yeah, the thing though, I don't know if Brady can run the West Coast offense as well as they want, but it also gives Trey Lance a chance to try out some of the things that are within the system that Brady's used to play. So they wouldn't have to fully overhaul the offense, but they definitely would have to add a few things that Brady's accustomed to. And you never know those those little things might help Trey Lance. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Uh, um, but which, what what did Brady bribe um Giselle with for two months? What kind of what kind of plan did he come up with to, to bribe said, Giselle? <laughs> I don't want none of these wives out here getting 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 into the show and thinking that we try to be those guys. But I have to say this, okay? Brady has made them sacrifice a lot. Yes, Giselle yes. has had to sacrifice a lot. Absolutely. His kids have had to sacrifice a lot. Mm-hmm. This could be a situation where Brady at first said, you know what? Yeah, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And then he's seeing Russ go over to, to um the Broncos. He's seeing, okay, uh the um the Packers overspent, you know, the yeah. the Saints. Peyton's gone. They don't know who their quarterback's going to be. There's a lot of dysfunction going on in the NFC. Do you know what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. there's only two teams, if that, that I can see have it giving Brady problems. One hey. is the Packers, and the other one is the Rams. That's it. You know, also, listen, I, I agree with what you were saying. But also what we got to look into, listen, maybe it was his family. They come up and said, hey, husband, wife, kids, and come up and said, hey, dad, go back for another year. Go play. We know this is what you love to do. This is what you know, you know? Who yeah, because he's probably miserable. Giselle probably said, get the hell up my house. He's sitting there soaking. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there soaking. And, you know, I got to go pick the kids up. Okay, I'll go pick the kids up. 
Mm-hmm. But he's picking the kids up listening to music that he thinks is in now. You know, like Tom Brady to me is like the dad next door who's like super corny. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The Mr. Fix It guy that doesn't really know how to fix stuff, but you know, he he just wants to wants to be that guy. But hey, well, well from what I can say as a fan, um I'm happy to see him play another year. Um I listen, I'm happy to see this guy go for his, his eighth, which is just that just coming out of my mouth. Wait, eighth or seventh? Eighth. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like, I mean, listen, let's let, let, let's take a moment of silence for that because that's just listen, King, we're talking about a guy going for eighth Super Bowl. Twenty-third like, year. Twenty-third year. Eighth. Eighth Super Bowl, man. Like that's I, Yo, it's, it's crazy. It's mind blowing. Like eight. So you gotta sit there. Like this when you talk about goats. Just, listen, I think Brady doesn't belong in a goat conversation. I think you're gonna talk about goats. Brady needs to be above that. So you talk about the goat between other players. Don't even mention his name. He's untouchable. I, I mean, I think he's like that now. You know yeah, what I'm I saying? I think he's like that now. I don't. I don't think he's gonna be like that forever. But there, the, the, here's the other side of it. Okay, there's a lot of people saying, "Here we go, uh, attention-seeking whore Brady." Of course, of you know, course. he wants to show up everybody, blase, blase. He doesn't, and that could be true too. Like that could be another reason why he came back. So they not they ain't talking about me no more. Like, oh. did they love me? No, no, no. I don't, I'm just, I don't think he's that. I don't think he's that nice. But come on, we, we've seen Brady for years. I don't think he's that type of guy. You know, yeah. um, when it comes down to it, I get you're right. People are 100 percent going to be saying all of that stuff, right? Because well, I see it. I'm in some of these chat groups where these guys are going crazy. Like, no offense, sometimes I feel like these guys don't have a job. All day, my phone going crazy. You know what I mean, uh, uh, double NCA, uh, NCA uh, March Madness, Brady, all types of news. But like the Brady thing, I noticed a lot of people are like, he's old. Get him the f out of here. We tired of it, you know. He he's just oh. coming back to hog the show. So, what about you? Just put that aside and look at the real. Because listen, me and you have the truth. You have your truth. I have my truth. And then we actually have the real balanced truth. And let's focus mm-hmm. on the balanced truth here. And the real truth is, maybe the man just loves the goddamn play, football. So if you oh, play that much, exactly right. And if you play that much of a thing. Football, boxing, MMA. If you play that much, that's all you know, right? So you going home, and that home life is not something you know. It's not something you're used to, right? No. And we've seen this multiple times with different fighters. It's hard for them to quit. Yeah. Because when they quit, they become a different person at home. They don't know what to do with themselves. You see what I'm saying? But my question for y'all, get in the comments. Do you think that Brady coming back is a blessing or a curse? And also, you think he's going to the 49ers or you think he's staying with the Bucks? You know what I mean, people? Let us know down in the comments below. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on with this one, Navinci, before we get up out of here? 49ers, please. 49ers, please. 49ers, please. You see how fast I caught that jersey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yet again. Thank y'all for liking. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for watching. We appreciate y'all and all of our new subscribers. We will have a giveaway once we get to 100, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a series of videos, but we're going to need you guys to answer a few things, and then we're going to do a raffle and bust it off. But anyways, hey, unretire that sub button like Brady. Hit them likes, okay? Trade yourself over. Trade yourself over from the dislikes to the likes, all right? Other than that, though, It's your boys. Till next time.